This Skillco TV how-to will show you the incredibly quick and easy three-step process of wiring a DIN rail terminal block that has a plug-in wiring design. Before wiring the terminal block, make sure that whatever equipment you are connecting to is completely shut off and fully de-energized. The first step for wiring a plug-in design terminal block is to simply mount the terminal block on the DIN rail. For this how-to demonstration, we are using a cut to size DIN rail option from iVoco which is available in standard 1 and 2 meter lengths with customizable lengths ranging from 2 inches to 23.625 inches. Once the terminal block is securely mounted, you can insert the wiring into the terminal block. Make sure that you match the male terminals with the female ports to ensure a proper connection. With the terminal block mounted and the wiring inserted, the final step is to give a light pull on the connecting wires to ensure that the connections are secured and tight. After a safe and secure connection is confirmed, you can re-energize the equipment that the terminal block is connected to and you have just safely installed, wired, and integrated a DIN rail terminal block that has a plug-in wiring design. Interested in more how-to videos? Be sure to like and subscribe to Gelco TV so you can be notified when new videos are posted.